Hello, my friends, and welcome back. My name is Justice Knight. I need you to sit back and hold on to something because we have a ton of updates and then a blockbuster article on 5G, an angle that I had not even thought about, never even taken into perspective. And the fact that the Trump administration repealed an Obama administration, it's just dumbfounding. It left me speechless, but we're going to get there. Before we do, because I'm not going to want to stop when we get going, look at this thing. This just arrived in the mail. The two-week ammo crate from my Patriot Supply. These guys are incredible. They helped to bring, allowed me to bring this broadcast up here. Um, that again is at preparewithlisa.com. Two-week supply, amazing company, amazing product. Sorry as I dropped that. It is as heavy as it looks, but nonetheless, let's get into what's going on here. First, an update. Uh, it's better late to the party than never, because if you remember right here, when in this broadcast of 90 advocacy groups um, about big tech titans and don't sell facial recognition. Well, what did I say during that? Because everybody was doing a 10-year challenge on Facebook. Here's me. Here was me 10 years ago. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Well, what you did is basically or what I projected you had done is just fed the algorithm on how to age you. So if you decide to drop off the grid, don't worry. The machine will know how to find you because you gave it the inputs. And if it wasn't sure about the age man you told it exactly what the age man was you loaded the beast and we need to stop doing that well TechSpot caught up with us eventually and about five other publications did and that's why you're here you're here because we are bringing you cutting edge information as fast as i can and as fast as i can find it so let's jump forward again this one right here the military is looking at ways to intercept nukes from space but experts say it's not feasible this just published on the verge well if you remember correctly we covered the missile defense review. It was actually on this broadcast. I'm sorry, let me jump forward one step. This was this broadcast. Trump administration unveils new missile defense plan. It had fallen on deaf ears. Nobody ever realized it happened. But lo and behold, again, a couple days later, The Verge finally catches up. Says, well, it's pretty much going to be ineffective to kill missiles from space. Huh. I struggle with those headlines. It's going to be ineffective. Because if you look here, new satellite images show Russian anti-satellite weapons system. So the systems exist. Now, this is going from land-based to air-based or to low Earth orbit. Why do we continually discredit the United States? And why do we allow these publications to discredit the United States and the United States military arm that is perfectly well capable of knocking down missiles? I don't care if it's ground-based, if it's air-based, or if it's low Earth orbit-based. Because I covered the Blackjack satellite system that DARPA just initiated. It's small, low Earth orbit satellites, very inexpensive. You don't think there's a missile defense already out there, my friends? We'd all be woefully mistaken. But we're going to move forward because you know my favorite, wow way and their 5g technology the chinese spy arm as we're going to call them well another country got wise to them germany now considering a ban on huawei's 5g technology germany is the last country to back away from Huawei over fears that trade secrets will end up in the hands of chinese government officials i don't know you think so they're spying on us left and right we've already removed them from our country maybe not all the components but we need to find them all canada is it states here which is still dumbfounding to me that we allow Canada to do this. They should ban Huawei from 5G networks. Yeah, they're our neighbor, intimately connected to us. We share a border. That's a big issue right now. And there is so much influx coming in through Canada, training camps that we're finding about, out about, technology. We're not secure. I mean, this is a big issue that has to be contended with. Huawei has to be banned from any of our allies, any of our aligning countries, because if they're in one, they can spy on us all. Huawei is the 5G, basically a lot of the, the instrumentation, a lot of the equipment, and we all know China's spying us on at this point. This isn't a secret anymore. And then you look here, though, it's taken it a step further. We go to DJI. What DJI drives me crazy. It drove me crazy during Christmas with Best Buy commercials. And just do a quick Google search. Here's all the shopping side by side. We can go over here and look at all the wonderful drones that they sell. Do you, so anybody, I hope everybody realizes that DJI is a Chinese owned company. They control our first responder drones, a vast majority, 85% of the market, last time I looked at the percentage of drones, come out of China. So we're going to allow the drone technology with our first responder units, our police units, our fire department units, and we're going to allow those to be controlled by the Chinese government? We're going to allow that technology in our country? That can't happen, but it continues to. In Gadget, they have their own problems. Thank goodness, drone giant DJI will take a huge loss due to employee fraud. Just was 
just to verify so everybody understands the extent. The world's largest drone maker, DJI, has reported that it will take a loss of up to uh, $150 million due to employee fraud. A country that is spying on everybody can't control their own employees from charging too much for the product, even though, as it says here, since a crackdown by President Xi Jinping, Chinese companies have been forced to deal harshly with corruption lest they face serious consequences. Serious consequences in that country is a darn scary statement because they don't play around here. You're not going to sit around in our jurisdiction system and go through 52 court trials and be let go and nothing's ever going to happen to you. Not in China. He is the law. The buck stops with him. We're back, and the DJI aggravation in me is paramount. And I'm not even going to touch this article. I know you guys got to be inundated this right now. And you saw this about the high schooler and the Native American and the fake narrative and the MSN fake narrative and the CNN fake narrative. And this has to stop. This is what happens. This is when we all say, and it's why, and, and again, yes, sometimes I will defer to uh, liberal versus Republican, conservative versus Democrat. I try not to because if we don't stick together and we allow these fake narratives to continue to divide our country, as I put in one of my comments to one, somebody who left me feedback yesterday was united we stand divided we fall the globalist cabal agenda is to divide us and articles like this divide us and shame on msn and shame on cnn for deceiving the american public with something that did not happen i watched the tape before i watched the tape after i watched the exchanges that is just wrong 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 that's why mainstream media news should all be but shut down. You want to talk about fake news narratives? Look at your mainstream media. Enough on that. So here's the blockbuster article we talked about. Is 5G, if 5G is so important, why isn't it secure? The network must be secure enough for the innovations it promises. Okay, that title captured me, and this came from Thomas Wheeler. The author captured my interest. That's the former chairman of the FCC. Now, personally, I wasn't a big fan of Wheeler, just, just so we're aware of that. But as a disclosure, but what information he gives us is critical. The Trump administration's so-called race with China to build new fifth-generation 5G wireless networks is speeding towards a network vulnerability to Chinese and other cyber attacks. Exactly right. We just talked about the Huawei connection to 5G because they made most of the processors very inexpensive, all the equipment necessary for 5G. It's why it was so tough for some of these countries to get rid of Huawei. But this big race for 5G to control the Internet of Things, to control our everyday lives, to allow for robotic surgery, to allow for that car to move autonomously, because we've seen how successful that is so far, to make sure that all our workers' jobs are replaced, starting with any of you who may drive drive semis. If you heard, we've talked about this, and that's where that basic income comes in. Well, these are our backbone of our American blue-collar worker. They're the backbone of our supply chain. These men and women who have worked tireless hours away from their families, their jobs taken away, but let's keep rushing towards 5G. But what's even worse, because I hate 5G. I hate what it is going to weaponize. I hate what it is going to mobilize. I hate that it's going to intrude in every one of our phones. I hate that it's going to hate Kairos. Kairos, the all-knowing beast that's being created by DARPA to be able to reach out to view every single image out in internet space and piece together a narrative on what crime you may commit in the future. That's how horrific these things are becoming and how much 5G will facilitate this beast. But then when I read this article, I, you know, I skimmed through a lot of it. You have to. It's very redundant information. Everybody wants to jump on the bandwagon. But then you read this paragraph here. And it's about the security. And it came out of a report. I'm just going to thumb up a little bit here. I, I'm sorry. The chairman of the Trump FCC quickly echoed the industry line that the market, not government, is best positioned to drive innovation and leadership. So the government will not drive innovation. And that is generally a very true statement. The market will drive more innovation. It's why the Trump administration wants um, net neutrality, the repeal, just gone. Because innovation will drive better traffic. Let's not make the government do it. I agree with him on that. But what's, what's stated here is worse than ignoring the warnings, the Trump administration has repealed existing protections. Shortly after taking office, the Trump FCC removed the requirement imposed by the Obama FCC that the 5G technical standard must be designed from the outset to withstand cyber attacks. 
For the first time in history, cybersecurity was being required as a forethought in the design of a new network standard. Now, I can't believe I'm going to say this. I agree with the Obama administration. For the first time ever, we put the security ahead of the creation, but then we repealed it. So do you know what that means? A vulnerable, we are going to allow all our autonomous cars, all our electric panels, imagine robotic surgery. We removed the security feature from the 5G demonic system that is being created around us. We repealed the security system and we're going to put that in the hands of the tech titans and the wild ways of the world. We're going to put it in their hands to secure us so that that can be hacked. Could you imagine the death destruction that will ensue from an unsecured network that controls self-proclaimedly the internet of things? My friends, this is one of the most deplorable statements I have read in some time. I will be personally writing a letter to the president and the FCC demanding an answer on this. I will personally author that letter because I want to know why is that repealed? I need to understand why that was retracted. Why was that pulled back? Was there something within the red tape of the writing? I hope there's some definition in there they give me because as of right now, as it stands, this 5G that everybody's so gung-ho on racing towards, the end of our world as we know it because it will weaponize our information to a degree unheard of, is now even worsened by the fact that it's completely insecured, by worth putting everything into the Internet of Things, controlled by 5G so that it could be cyber-hacked and we could be held hostage by a remote Oh, just de facto party that nobody would know who it is. And that's why this was the blockbuster headline. And my friends, I thank you for staying in there. Yes, I'm yelling today. And I, it, it, this needs to be yelled. This needs to be shouted. We need to stand hand in hand. And yesterday, in your comment, when you said that we got to stop the Democrat and Republican, we do. Because it is a good and evil battle. Everybody who states that is 100% right. This is good versus evil. And for you to sit here and listen to these broadcasts and to share this message, you are on the side of good as we fight back against this technological tyranny that is set to destroy us all, destroy our constitution, change our way of life, remove our freedoms, and otherwise just dismiss us as humanity. So until next time, Godspeed and God bless. I can't thank you enough for being here. If you haven't subscribed, I certainly hope you will. Once again, my name is Justice Knight. Signing out.